Merci tout le monde. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. My fellow ministers and I, uh, first ministers and I, just wrapped up a very productive meeting, which I'm pleased to tell you about. In the spirit of close cooperation and collaboration, we spent the morning discussing the environment and the economy and how we can build a stronger, cleaner, more modern Canada. We agreed that both immediate and long-term action is needed to support economic growth, job creation, and economic prosperity. A key element of that action is investment in infrastructure. To spur economic growth in the short term, the federal government is committed to fast-tracking existing infrastructure allocations in all of the provinces and territories, in addition to making significant new investments in infrastructure. Nous allons investir dans des projets d'infrastructures vertes qui aideront à créer de bons emplois pour la classe moyenne et à faire croître notre économie de manière durable. Nous avons aussi discuté de l'importance de favoriser l'innovation, d'encourager le commerce et d'investir dans le développement des compétences pour donner aux Canadiens la capacité d'obtenir de bons emplois dans une, dans une économie à faibles émissions de carbone. Nous avons convenu d'entreprendre les réformes nécessaires de notre marché intérieur pour réhausser la compétitivité canadienne sur la scène mondiale. Les premiers ministres et moi avons discuté de notre vision commune d'un pays qui exploitera à fond la technologie et l'innovation, qui ouvrira la porte à une économie à faible émission de carbone et qui deviendra un chef de file mondial en matière de croissance propre. Je me réjouis de pouvoir dire que nous avons fait un grand pas en vue d'atteindre ces objectifs. Nous avons défini une trajectoire commune axée sur le développement d'un cadre pan-canadien visant à stimuler la croissance propre et à s'adapter aux changements climatiques. Ce cadre, qui s'inspire du momentum de la COP21 de Paris, reconnaît que la croissance de notre économie et la protection de notre environnement vont de pair. Il tient aussi compte du fait que la santé et la sécurité des Canadiens, de même que, que notre économie, notre infrastructure et nos écosystèmes, subissent l'impact du changement climatique. Et finalement, du fait que, en ce qui concerne le climat, les risques de l'inaction ont d'importantes répercussions économiques et sociales sur nous tous. So let me outline some of the specific actions we've committed to. Under the framework, we will invest in green infrastructure, public transit, and energy-efficient social infrastructure. First Ministers have directed that reports be developed by the fall of this year to identify options for additional action in four areas. Clean technology, innovation, and jobs, carbon pricing mechanisms, specific mitigation opportunities, and adaptation and climate resilience. Federal, provincial and territorial governments will also ensure robust and coordinated engagement with indigenous peoples, all orders of government, businesses, stakeholders, and Canadians to make this vision a reality. Indeed, yesterday we had tremendously productive conversations with uh, First Nations uh, and ensure that as we move forward on how to build a strong economy and better protect our environment, Indigenous peoples are full partners uh, in the future we are building. This year, we will also work to sign and ratify the Paris Agreement. In addition, my government intends to present to the United Nations a plan that is firmly rooted in collaboration and consultation and represents all of Canada. To achieve our goals, we will build on the actions taken by provinces and territories and will identify additional measures that all governments can take to achieve economic growth and emission reduction objectives in the longer term. For its part, the Government of Canada has committed to supporting climate change mitigation and adaptation through investments in green infrastructure, public transit infrastructure, and energy efficient social infrastructure. We've committed to working together with the provinces and territories and how best to lever federal investments in the Low Carbon Economy Fund to realize incremental emission reductions, to working with other governments and the private sector to advance the electrification of vehicle transportation, and fostering dialogue and the development of regional plans for clean electricity transmission to reduce emissions. We've also 
committed to advancing efforts to eliminate the dependence on diesel in indigenous, remote, and northern communities, replaced by renewable energy and energy efficiency. And finally, as part of Canada's participation in mission innovation, doubling investments in clean energy, research, and development over five years, and working with global partners to promote cleaner energy and better environmental outcomes. Building on our progress today, we are confident that we are seeing the, setting the country on a path towards long-term clean growth, critical emissions reductions, and a healthier, more prosperous future for all Canadians. The collective will and solidarity shown throughout our discussions today is very promising. It's exactly the spirit we need to tackle climate change and grow our economy for us, for our children, for the middle class, and those working hard to join it. I look forward to our First Minister's meeting in the fall where we'll finalize the Pan-Canadian Framework on Clean Growth and Climate Change. By working together, we will restore Canada's reputation for environmental stewardship and generate real, positive change for all Canadians. Merci.